hello everyone welcome to my channel in this channel we gonna discuss about various different kind of questions that being asked in any SAP FICO interview so today's most important question is tell me the major changes in SAP S4 HANA from ECC or difference between ECC and S4 HANA in SAP FICO point of view or interviewer may ask like tell me the four to five major changes from ECC to S4 HANA. If you are having any experience in SAP FICO or you have done your certification or training and appearing for the interview for the role of SAP FICO consultant, this question will surely be asked. As you are may, may know, companies are migrating from SAP ECC to S4 HANA. You should have the knowledge on these changes or this topic. I'm also going to explain you the answer that you can give to your interviewer. You can also add your own knowledge as well. I'm going to discuss five to six major changes here. So first and the major change in SAP S4 HANA is the first one. Customer and vendor are now business partner. You can also say are now PP. Okay. So if you go to the transaction FK01 to create a vendor, system will redirect to the transaction code BP. If you see here, it is redirecting to the transaction code BP. So you can now maintain customer and vendor using the business partner functionality. With the business functionality, Business partner functionality system will redirect all the transaction to transaction code BP automatically. For example, FK01, FK02, FK03 to edit, create and display vendor and FD01, FD02, FD03 to create, edit and display customer. So, one BP can have multiple roles like MM, FI, SD, etc. So, let me show you that as well. If you go to the BP role here under the drop down and if you search with this FLVN00. So the BP role FLVN00 extension enables vendor invoice to post directly in SAP FI. So you can post the FI documents <coughs> here but you cannot create a PO purchase order as we haven't extended purchasing data hence to extending purchasing data user role you need to sell you need to extend your bp to here as well flvn01 so you will able to post the view as well mean you can able to use this bp for the mm as well so main say same goes to the customer same goes to the customer FLC for customer FLCU00 to post the customer related FI related invoices and to extend to the sales and distribution uh, you can extend your customer to FLCU01 so this is the major change in BP point of view and the second point you can tell to your interviewer is introduction of AC docker table It is also called it as universal journal. So why it is called as universal journal? So whenever you post anything from any model in the system, in SAP system, it will post an entry in this table, in AC Docker table. Suppose in ECC, uh, you were using the tables, multiple tables like BKPF, BKPF for to see document header level details, BSEG to check document line item details, BSID to see AR open item details like accounts receivable open item details, to see accounts payable open item details we used to see a table yes BSIK and for the GL open items we, uh, the data will be stored was stored in the table BS, IS and 
and uh, to clear the item we, we will able to see the data in bs ad for ar cleared item bs ak for uh, ap cleared item bs as for gl cleared item so there were multiple table we used to refer but now in s4 ha now uh, all the entries we can see all the data we can see in the single table that is ac docker table if you go to the transaction ac 16 n and enter the code ac docker and execute we will able to see the all the entries in single table like company code fiscal year ledger all these are header level data like in bkpf level data if you go to scroll right side you will able to see all the line items details amount and all you can see those entries here so this is the use of the exadecor table introduced introduced in s4 hana system okay the next point you can also tell to your interviewer as c third point will be single source of truth single source of truth what is the meaning of this mean now f i and c o are merged to avoid any data duplicity in the system okay if you go to the transaction f s 00 we will able to see the cost element as introduced f s 00 okay mm. let me see which are the available okay let me create uh, GL. Hmm. If you see here, there are now five GL account types. Okay. Earlier in version 1503 to 1909, we will able to see four GL account types in S4 HANA system. From 2020, uh, we will able to see this new GL account that is cash account okay so now uh, cost element categories are now available in gl master data to achieve this there are now five uh, five gl account types okay so if we select this primary cost revenue and secondary cost revenue we will able to we will able to see the cost element here in control data tab okay if you scroll uh, down little bit down see this cost element category is visible okay this will be there only if you select these two primary cost revenue and secondary cost revenue okay if you select the other ones non equity expenses see there is no cost element category tab is populated okay in earlier in ACC we, we will able to select only these uh, balance sheet items means balance sheet and profit and loss account was there earlier but now we can see we have this option so there will be no data duplicity for fi and co so this is real time we can also tell your interviewer that is fi and co integration are now real time So the next point is technical clearing account and it is also called as asset reconciliation account so create a gl account for this and assign this gl account to technical clearing uh, so that it uh, will integrate the asset directly for the acquisition and uh, you have to map your gl account to chart of account okay so uh, in ecc we used to get the entry like asset account debit to 
vendor account okay so it means a document will not be getting generated so reconciliation between a ledger and asset is wasn't possible at that time in ecc okay that was incomplete so in this case in that case we need to perform year end closing activity to reconcile, reconcile the asset account that is abst2 okay because the real time integration between ledger and asset was incomplete so in ecc we used to get an entry as asset debit to vendor credit okay so both are here entries but we have to we want a entry as well so they have introduced a change in s for hana like let me show that entry as for hana entry will be it will post to two documents okay there will be four line item so in s for hana abst2 removed and introduced technical clearing account so the entry will be in ledger view in asset view you will get an entry as asset debit technical clearing account credit okay so this will be a document type and the period key for asset e 70 and here technical clearing account 75 this is asset view there will be two views here and the second view will be operational view and the entry will be technical clearing account David okay and the period key is 70 to vendor account credit and this entry will be on here okay and the period key will be 30 so these two will get nullified technical clearing this technical clearing will get nullified okay so the direct entry will be asset account debit to vendor account so there is no need to run abst2 transaction in s4 hana okay so let me show you uh, the screenshot how you can create a gl so first you have to create a gl for technical clearing account you have to select the asset here this is the reconciliation account so you have to Select this asset okay once this is complete you need to select the jail account type as balance sheet account okay and select this asset in under this reconciliation and you have to assign this under technical clearing account node is there let me show you that as well under financial accounting asset accounting integration with here and here is the new node technical clearing account you have to define your chart of, chart of account here select the chart of, chart of account and assign your GL account technical clearing GL account in this field okay and once that is done once you run f-90 you will get an entry like this same like i have explained you earlier like this okay so this is how 
uh, the technical clearing account so they have obsoleted that ABSD to transaction okay the next point will be theory add used for bank account configuration so suppose if you go to fi12 to create a house bank to configure the bank account let me go to fi12 what is the thing of this time here if you are selecting your company code and go to bank configuration okay it will give you this message read only access okay so if you tick on this and try to create a bank it is taking the time of this time here okay to create a bank account if you click on that it will it will uh, redirect to your theory app okay theory login so your login credential as your acp user id and password and it will give you the screen it will give you the screen to create the bank data so here you have to define your bank account holder bank country bank key account number whichever you want here as per your business account type whether it's saving current whatever you want like this you have to create you have to give the details and save it once this is saved you will get an entry here in this table once you successfully save the data in Fiori app. So that is the next change in the S4 HANA. Okay. Earlier in ECC this wasn't there. We can easily create the uh, bank account and house bank in SAP software only. So this is the Fiori app changes in S4 HANA. So last point I would like to add here is extension ledger. So S4 HANA has introduced extension ledger if you want to do the adjustment without editing the standard ledger you can use this extension ledger so uh, extension ledger we have to for extension ledger we, you have to give the underlying ledger for example leading or non-leading ledger it so it will post automatically to this ledger so there will be no any independent this is not an independent ledger okay so there will be no physical document posted okay so yeah that is the use of extension ledger this all point you can tell to your interviewer for the difference between sap ecc and s4 hana okay i'll come back with the more question for videos like this and yeah if you find this question if you find this video helpful please like share and subscribe to this channel okay thank you